in a landmark endeavor to drive women's empowerment, foster entrepreneurship, and propel sustainable agricultural development, the Ministry of Agriculture, in partnership with the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ICA, and the Taiwan Technical Mission, has initiated the transformative Where Women Bloom, supporting sustainable livelihoods for women and youth through capacity building and inclusivity in the mushroom industry project. Under this innovative collaboration, 25 women have been equipped with essential skills in small-scale mushroom production and the operation of mushroom growing units. These participants have undergone comprehensive training, enhancing their capabilities and paving the way for economic independence and self-sufficiency. Representative of ICA in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean states, Greg Rollins, explains that this collaboration between the Ministry of Agriculture, ICA and the Taiwan Technical Mission underscores the significance of public-private partnerships in driving impactful change. The partnership of the Taiwanese Technical Mission in support of sustainable livelihoods through a focus on producing real impact with women, their capacity building and promoting inclusivity in market participation and industry representation has been welcomed by ICA. The project, Where Women Bloom, is predicated upon the realization that small-scale and sustainable mushroom production provides an opportunity to local farmers to diversify their production and to invest in the rural milieu with potential for high return on investment. During the certificate ceremony, each participant received a certificate of completion and were provided with mushroom care kits, symbolizing the project's practical approach to ensuring continued success. These kits serve as tangible tools for nurturing newly acquired skills and knowledge, enabling the women to implement what they have learned and contribute to the growth of the mushroom industry. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chien Chen, underscored the significance of this recognition in validating participants' efforts and reinforcing the dedication of all stakeholders to driving sustainable change and development. We are proud to say that this project has benefited the women around the island from grocery to viewful, from the application training session to the preparation for building up mushroom houses. Every participant has shown collaborative partnership with our team. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, emphasized the vital role of women in ensuring food and nutrition security, improving household welfare and stimulating local economies. He commended the project's holistic approach covering practical training sessions on the construction of mushroom houses for its potential to enhance women's participation and elevate the agricultural sector's role in strengthening national food security. We know the supportive function of women in the home economy is critical to food and nutrition security, youth and elderly health and well-being, as well as providing value-adding functions at the home level that both improve rural household serving while stimulating the local economy. The focus on women goes beyond simply the nature of the grant opportunity made available by the Embassy of the Republic of China on Taiwan and the Taiwan Technical Mission, but also recognizes that women in agriculture in the Caribbean, as in most developing countries, play important roles in household food security as income earners, nurturers, and managers of natural resources and bio biodiversity although the success which, with which they are able to execute their roles is often mitigated by restricted access to land, labor, capital, and technology. The Where Women Bloom project signifies the dedication of the Agriculture Ministry and its sector partners to creating a future where women and youth can prosper and sustainable livelihoods can flourish. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.